My, 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 Gemini, we are back at it again. Y'all were the most viewed sign for the December monthly. Shout out to y'all. Y'all came on through, okay? So listen, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Um, Everyone that has sent a love offering, thank you so, so much to everyone who has sent donations to my page. I greatly appreciate you. Anyone that wants a personal reading, click that About tab. Hit that hyperlink. Simply book me, okay? So you can contact me and book a reading with me at Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. If you have any questions, especially if you send a love offering or a donation to the page, um, I just want you to make sure that you that you email me. Email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com so I can just speak to you and just tell you thank you so much. Um, so please make sure that you email me if you send a love offering if this video resonated with you at all if it made you laugh if it made you cry if it touched your heart in any type of way if you want to send a love offering you my paypal information is in the description section if you send a love offering please make sure that you email me okay thank you so much um for everyone that showed any type of love and that's viewing this video right now thank you so much for the love and support all right let's get into the prayer Dear Lord, thank you so much for all the blessings in the past, present, and future. We're here for the sign of Gemini. Please give the sign of Gemini some guidance from December this, uh, the 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much for all the lessons that we've learned thus far. This has been, you know, a good year for some, and this has been a year of many lessons for others. Um, thank you again for all of the lessons and all the blessings that we've received throughout this year. Please give us the strength to be stronger in 2019. Please give the sign of Gemini some guidance for the month of December from December the 15th through the 31st. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the messages and the guidance in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Gemini some guidance for December the 15th through the 31st. Thank you again. All right. So let's see what we got. Spirit, please give us sign and Gemini some guidance for the month of December 15th through the 31st. Thank you. Right, Gemini. All right, all right, Gemini. What we talking about here? Oh, we releasing some toxic energy because you want happiness. What's going on, Gemini? Yeah, you releasing any? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's find out what's going on with you, Gemini. All right. So right now, the only thing that you want right now, Gemini, only thing you focus on is true happiness. You know. A healthy, happy home, a stable environment emotionally. Just want to be completely happy, completely fulfilled. When you walk into your house at the end of the day from work, you just want to feel nothing but love, happiness, and abundance. Nothing but love, happiness, and abundance. Okay, right now you're focusing on true love. True love, you want commitment. Commitment. And right now, you know, if you're dealing with some a situation that is um, toxic and no good for you, a situation that has no guarantee of commitment, possibly when you're the third party in this situation, you're going through any type of addictions right now with alcohol. Some people want to cut out smoking right now. I feel like they may have someone in their life right now that they just feel is toxic, and not only do they want to get rid of them, but they want to get rid of anything that they might have picked up as a bad habit with this person, you know? So if you were in a situation where you were doing something less than you know was your true core values, you're getting rid of that and you're jumping back to who you originally were before you got into that situation. If you started dating someone and now all of a sudden you realize you started smoking and drinking a lot more because that was a negative attribute to that person's behavior. You're realizing that within yourself and you're saying, you know what, this is not me. 
I'm about to wash all of that stuff away because at the end of the day, I'm rushing forward. I'm rushing forward passionately to what I want in my life, okay? I'm rushing forward. And anyone that's coming to me with any type of in and out energy, with this type of negative in and out energy, okay, where you're not there and you're not fully committed to me, I don't want it. Mm -mm. I don't want it. I'm rushing forward passionately, okay, with a lot of determination, okay, because I'm guarded right now in regards to a lot of things because I was dealing with a third-party relationship. I was in a situation where I was a third, okay, and I really didn't see my value and my worth, okay, and I kind of lost my faith, and I kind of lost my faith. Because I was doing something where, you know, I wasn't really um, paying attention to what I deserved and my true value, okay? And I was giving my cup to something where I wasn't going to be receiving a full cup in return. Because it was, you know, someone was having to give to me and someone else, okay? It's just the three of cups, right so right now I'm just I'm seeking clarity I'm seeking clarity and I'm studying and I'm um only thing I really want right now is if anything messages of truth and clarity in regards to the situation if you're not coming to me ready to deal with facts and truth and honestly deal with the situation. I'm not dealing with it. I'm only dealing with honesty and truth, okay? With the situation and with myself, I'm looking at myself with a clear eye view so I can see what it was that I was doing and then so I could work on myself and I could study on how to be a better person and how to move me forward because like I told you, you know, I'm rushing forward. I'm rushing forward. I'm not, I'm not going to continue to keep myself stagnated in something that, you know, doesn't even have any long-term um, possibilities to it. This is what I want. This is what I want. And this is what I'm focusing on. Okay? Commitment. Commitment. True love, emotional happiness. True love, commitment, emotional happiness. All of this stuff from here on out. You know, I'm washing it away. And that's why, yes, I am guarded. I am guarded. So don't come over here to me trying to kiss up to me. Be like, oh, you know, it really, I didn't mean that. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Because you ain't doing nothing but coming to me with this bullshit. You ain't doing nothing to me but coming to me with this bullshit. You know, at the end of the day, my focus, and I'm... Right now, I'm, I'm seeking truth on, on, on finding my, my true purpose and my worth. And I'm working on my faith. Because I know good is going to come to me. And the only thing I got to do is continue to seek for truth and clarity within myself. On how I can be better or what God needs me to do. Okay? And at the end of the day, only thing you can do is watch me from afar. Okay? So this is also someone that is studying you, watching you from afar. Because you might have cut yourself out of the situation. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you're like handing them a goddamn nut. Like, hey, enjoy your, you got your nut. Take your nut and go on out the door. Lock the gate behind you, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm looking for happiness. And you can't provide that for me. You can't provide that commitment for me, okay? You can't provide that commitment for me. That's why I'm, that's why I'm washing you away. Mm -mm, I don't need that energy in my life. I don't need that energy in my life. I like that. Gemini, my, 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 Gemini, hold on now, hold on now, Gemini came through and said, listen, boo, this is, this is not what we about to do right here, mm-mm, I, I don't want no more parts of this, you go do that with somebody else, <clears throat> you go do that with somebody else, I'm, I'm rushing away passionately, I have other things to do, my dear, I'm putting my guard up with you, boo. I'm not about to keep doing this shit right here that is beneath my value and my worth. Please give the sign of Gemini some guidance and love for December the 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit.
Please give this out as your last guidance. Yes, you're making the effort in love. Come on, Gemini. Come on. Yes, you're making the effort to walk away from the unrequited love. All right. It's just taking you a second, okay? But you, 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 mm -mm. Come on, Gemini. Mm-hmm. Got to heal some family issues. Because this person's goddamn finances is upside down and you feel obligated to this person. Okay? Yes, it's codependent. I told you, it's codependent. Okay? And you're not optimistic about this situation because you know it's codependent. All right? Give me one more, Spirit. What's that? Uh-huh. You're not optimistic to express your love because you know this is a codependent situation, all right? So like I said, you're making an effort to walk away from this unrequited love, okay? You realize that this was unrequited. You realize that this was unrequited and you said, you know what? Uh-uh. I don't, I'm not going to stay where I'm not wanted or desired. I got the message. I got the hint. I don't need you to rub it in my face. You know? You, you making me feel like you don't want me around or like I'm a burden to you. So guess what? I'm going to drop the burden. Let me go ahead and release myself. Let me go ahead and release myself. The hardest part, though, is that, you know, because I don't got myself connected to you and I started treating you like like I'm family like you family and it's hard for me to walk away because I know that you financially fucked up and if I walk away from you that you gonna be fucked up but at the end of the day you a grown ass man you a grown ass man or you a grown ass woman okay so at the end of the day I can't sit here and continue to hold myself down on a codependent relationship when I know good and goddamn well that I know that there ain't nothing coming out of this situation. I'm not happy right here. I'm not optimistic about the situation because it's codependent. And you with me for the wrong reasons. And we're holding on to each other for the wrong reasons. I want to be with someone who really loves me. Not somebody that... <laughs> no. I'm not, I, 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 I'm, not, I, I'm not optimistic about being in this relationship with you and expressing any love to you. You with me for the wrong reasons. You with me for the wrong reasons. You know, don't hold on to a situation just because of finances, you know, because financially... You know, it's better. It, it works out for you a little bit better if you have someone know. If you, it takes a stronger person to walk away from something that they know is not good for them. Even though they may care about the person. Even though they may struggle. If you know the situation is, the foundation of it is built on some bullshit. Mm -mm. No. I'd rather be by myself and try to find true happiness. That ten of cups. That four of wands. I'd rather release myself from anything that's low vibrational. Something that's toxic. Something that, you know, when you're feeling... Like I said, this is a situation where this person is walking away from a situation that is toxic. That they feel bound to. That they feel tied to. Okay? That it's extremely hard for them to walk away from because they feel like... They, this person's family is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And and they, they can't survive on their own financially, okay? So, that's why this person has this codependent toxic tied to me. It's not really based on love. It's not really based on love at all. And I'm not optimistic about it. And I want something that I can that I can honestly express my love in a situation. Not something where I'm feeling like I'm having to hold myself back because... It's a toxic ass situation. I want full happiness. I want full abundance. I want full happiness. I want full abundance. And if the only thing you're looking for is a nut, nigga, go ahead. You done had a nut. Take your nut and go on about your business. And let me find happiness. 
Because right now, you you just holding on to shit because this is benefiting you financially at the goddamn moment. Because your, your money fucked up. You not, you not with me because... You 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 happy and you wanna be here, nigga? No, nah, fuck that shit. Go on about your business then. Don't be codependent on me. You need to go find another fucking right asshole to be codependent on. Or another motherfucking goddamn go dig you need to go you need to go go dig on another nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Like no. Spirit, please give the sign of Gemini some daily guidance for the month of December. Acceptance. You need to accept the situation at hand. You understand? Accepting. You're in this point of acceptance right now. I think you don't really got to the point where you really see the situation for what it is. And you realize that this is something that you need to walk away from. And assertiveness. <laughs> Come on, Gemini. You accepting that shit and you are exerting yourself. You are asserting yourself. Like, look. I'm not about to play with you. I already see what this whole situation is. This is a lose-lose situation. I'm not about to win in this situation with you. And at the end of the day, I got to keep my heart, my heart in mind. Okay? I got to keep my heart in mind. This is the Cupid card. Okay? So, like I said, acceptance. You accepting your situation and seeing it for what the fuck it is. And you asserting yourself and addressing it and dealing with the situation. Like, look. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no fool here. Okay? I want true love. I want true, honest love and abundance. I want loyalty. I want honesty. I want integrity. I want security. I want trust. I want growth and abundance. Happiness. Joy. I don't ever want to question, ever want to question the person that I'm with. Ever. Ever. I want true love and nothing but true love. Nothing but true love, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm noticing the signs. I'm noticing the signs. When someone shows you who the fuck they are, believe them the first time. Believe them, okay? When someone show you how they do other motherfuckers, don't think that that shit won't. It ain't your turn yet, beloved. It just wasn't your turn. When someone show you who the fuck they are, you better watch them and believe them who the fuck you look. Watch the signs. Because of that, it'll block your abundance and it'll, and it'll block your blessings. It'll block your abundance and it'll block your blessings. If you don't pay attention to the signs, it'll block your abundance and it'll block your blessings. Do you understand what I'm saying, Gemini? Assert yourself. Fight for true love. Assert yourself. And fight for true love. True love. New love. If that's not what it is, if that's not what you got right now, then release yourself and fight for it. Accept your situation right now to what you're dealing with for what the fuck it is. And be honest and true to yourself for what it is. You understand, Gemini? Gemini came to a point and just like, look... Uh-uh, because you're blocking what God has for me. And I can't, I can't deal with this. And I'm releasing that shit. Because it don't have no place in my life right now. Because as long as I keep this type of bullshit lingering around me, I'm never going to have nothing good to come to me. And I block it and I release it out of my life. I don't have time for it. I'm not going into 2000 goddamn 19 with that. I'm telling you right now, this is the only thing I want right here. This. Love. Commitment. 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 I don't have time for anything less than that. Emotional security and happiness. Come on, Gemini. Gemini said, huh. Who being the, who 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 <laughs> who being the option? Who being played with? You must be getting played with. All right, because you didn't see the starter I am because you didn't see my value. Okay, yeah, I played the game with you for a little bit, but I ain't got time to play with you no more. Nigga, only thing you gonna do, or whoever this female is, only thing you gonna be able to do is watch my ass from afar. The way I'm about to pull it. The way I'm about to pull this. <laughs> I'm about to watch my ass from afar. 
because I already peep you. I already see this is uh, required. You already starting to show your ass. You already starting to show your ass already. It ain't even been that long. It ain't even been that long. You already starting to show your fucking ass. But guess what? I can show you quicker than I'm about to see him rap with you about it, son. You hear me? Yeah, I'm about here. Yeah. I'm about to. Ex I'm assertive. I'm about to assert myself. And if you ain't seen my motherfucking head spin around like Beetlejuice and motherfucking check your ass about this bullshit right here, look right above each other. Yeah. You think I ain't feel that shit? Mm-hmm. Yo, but it's okay. You about to learn. Quicker than I ever say nothing to you. I'm about to show you. All right? So, Spirit, please clarify. First spread. Gemini. Pentacles in reverse. I, I feel like this Gemini is about her money. This Gemini right here, she about her money. She about her money. That's all I'm gonna say. She about her. She she about her fucking money. And she like I'm about to I'm out I'm I'm out the motherfucking cut all this bullshit out right here. You understand what I'm saying? Cause I'm looking for happiness right now. Alright, so this is what I'm getting. Alright, so I feel like we're dealing with two different people right here. We're dealing with the Queen of um the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And and to be honest with you, this woman bought her money. By any means necessary. And and I'm just keeping it 100 with you. And you can take that however you want to take it. She bought her money, however, however it's clever. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I don't have time for your immature, just, you know, trivial games and your bullshit with this goddamn um, Knight of Cups in reverse. Because at the end of the day, you're not really offering me true love any motherfucking way. And at the end of the day, you ain't coming to me with, with, with no coin. You understand what I'm saying? So I, you know, if you're not offering me any cups where I'm going to be emotionally fulfilled, I ain't got time to deal with it because at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. So at the end of the day, if you want to keep trying to play games with my mind and shit like that, because this is somebody, this, 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 this night of cups right here. This motherfucker is not only emotionally playing with you, but this person trying to play mental games with you. This, this person trying to play mind games with you. You know what I'm saying? And you like, motherfucker, listen, I'm going to be happy regardless. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, have you going to offer me this emotional happiness and be serious about it? But if you want to keep playing these mind games with me, this can go to a level that you don't even really want to go with, with me. Honestly and truly, you know, because you're immature. You're, you're immature. And I'm going to have to stoop to your level. You know what I'm saying? Because you're coming to me with all this conflict and this deceivery and this. You trying to be slick. You're trying to be slick. And you're trying to win at all costs. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're with me for the wrong reasons. And you think I'm about to play with you because you, you trying to mind fuck me and some shit. No. I'm about to show you real quick. You think that this is a war that you. No. This ain't a war that you want to start. Because you think you bought your coin. Nigga, I'm about my coin. And I'm, about, I'm not about to play with you about my coin. So I'm not about to deal with nobody taking advantage of me and shit like that. If you got some other little shit, some other little bitch that you don't want to be committed to me or whatever the fuck that shit is that was going on. You, you know what I'm saying? Where there's no commitment. 
And you try to have me tied up in some goddamn low vibrational bullshit. And I'm trying to rush away from that shit. And I'm feeling guarded. I'm feeling guarded. I'm feeling guarded. Because you got me in some third party bullshit. And I'm rushing away from that shit. Because you wasn't valuing me and seeing my worth. Guess what? I done made the decision. I done came to the point, you know what? I, I've been blind. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been blind. You had me wrapped up. You, you know, you, 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 you worked your smell. You, you worked your spell on me. Yeah, you was a little casting over for real, for real. Yeah, you a little player. You a little casting over. You know how to work your little, your little heart spell magic and shit like that. Yeah, you had, you had, you had me. You got me. You got me. You tricked me and you and, and you made me thought it was about to be a ten of cups situation. And the whole time, it was just a mind fuck. It was just a mind fuck. And I've been in the worst battle I've been in in my fucking life. But guess what? I, I, I done got to a point where I realized that I needed to make a decision. Because at the end of the day, I'm very passionate. I'm very determined. I'm a go-getter. I got a lot of drive in me. And I got a lot of fucking good qualities and things about me. And I want true love. So I made a decision to go for true love. I don't I don't really want to stoop to this level with you because it can get treacherous. Oh, it can get. Because you really don't know who you're playing with, honestly and truly. Cause this shit can get to a real low level. Okay? Yeah, cause you don't you don't pull me down here. You don't pull me down here with you. And I'm trying to walk away and release this shit. But, you know, because you, you playing too many mind games with me. And I'm not about to, I'm, I don't like people playing games with my mind and playing games with my heart and shit like that. Because at the end of the day, I got to remain a queen at all time. And I got to understand the only thing that I deserve is true honesty, devotion, and love. And I'm not going to accept anything less than that. So I'm going to go ahead and walk away from that situation because it's beneath me and it's not serving me anymore. Spirit, please give the sign of Gemini some guidance for the second row. For love, thank you so much. Please clarify the second spread. Thank you, Spirit. You're untying yourself from that bind, from that bond, okay? You're releasing yourself from being hung up in a situation that no longer served you because guess what? It's a whole new world. You've closed that chapter and you've decided, you know what? It might not be to my benefit to juggle that situation anymore because I wasn't even happy in this situation. And why should I sit there and let someone juggle me around? fuck I look like. I wasn't happy in that situation no way. I was up all night. All night. Driving me fucking crazy. Driving me crazy. For what? For a situation that I ended up not happy in? For a situation where someone was juggling me like a fucking option? For what? For what? Mm-mm. I'd rather just release myself. I'd rather just release myself and, you know, close that whole chapter of my life and just start anew. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I'm done. I see my purpose and, you know, I know, you know, I might not know where I'm headed, but I know, I know I'm worth way, way more than that. I know my worth. I know I'm worth way more than that. I know I got the whole world in front of me. I don't have time for this shit. Mm-hmm. Please clarify. Sorry, spread for Gemini. Thank you so much.
page of that. Yeah, you cutting some oh yeah you cutting that shit out <laughs> you said look you hoe ass nigga look you hoe ass nigga you don't really want nothing for real only thing you really trying to do is come around and wave your little dick around and try to motherfucking hypnotize motherfuckers with your dick but guess what i ain't impressed bitch i ain't impressed and also this motherfucker might be trying to come to you, trying to rush forward to you, trying to tell you off and shit. And you like, hold on, bitch. Let me, let me, let me let you know something. Let me let you know something. I'm stopping any type of planning, any type of new development, any type of growth. So guess what? If I, if you thought that I was giving you any type of indication that we were going to work on anything, I'm telling you right now, um, you can cancel those plans, bitch. Because guess what? I'm resting. I'm healing. I need to retreat. I don't want nothing to do with you right now. I'm deciding that I'm taking myself away. So, you know, I don't want to be with you no more. I need time to heal. You understand? Because you you ain't bringing me nothing but bullshit. You ain't doing nothing but bringing me false love. And guess what? I'm taking my love back. Because this whole shit was some bullshit. It was some real bullshit. And nigga, I'm cutting you the fuck out. And nigga, please, please, please don't come at me like this. You coming at the wrong one. You coming at the wrong one. Because I ain't got to deal with you at all. Because you ain't nothing but a hoe ass nigga. You ain't nothing but a hoe ass fucking nigga. You understand what I'm saying? You just try to come in and out. The only thing you try to do is just give me sex to give to get what you want. You think that that's like, no, that, no, 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 no. I already see what type of shit you want right now. Nah, I'm letting you know right now. So, you try to rush forward to me and try to tell me off and all, nah, nigga, I'm rushing forward and I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Cancel. You cancel, nigga. How about that? You cancel. How about that? All the way around the board. All the way the fuck around the board, nigga. You fucking cancel. I'm cutting your ass out. I don't want you no more. I don't want you no more. I don't love you no more. I don't want to deal with you. I need time to rest and heal, nigga. And just, I just don't want to be around you, period. I just want to be by myself, period. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to work on shit with you. Like, no. No. So, yeah, at the end of the day, like, yeah, I'm coming at you real motherfucking hostile and shit. Yeah, because at the end of the day, I see you for what you are. You ain't shit. You just a whole ass, nigga. Now I ain't got shit for you. And I ain't got shit for you. I done noticed the signs, nigga. I done noticed the signs. And ever since you've been in my life, ever since you've been in my life, my shower of abundance has halted. Halted. Nah. No. Mm -mm. I'm accepting the situation for it is, and I'm inserting myself in the situation. And yeah. So, yeah, me inserting myself is you think I'm crazy and I'm going off and I'm acting ape shit. Yeah, well, okay. All right. Ape shit it is. Spirit, please give a um, sign of Gemini some guidance for the future. Alright, so you realize that this situation was honestly... This situation was a non-traditional relationship. I'm just going to put it to you like that. It was a non-traditional relationship. Um, and I feel like because you really like the person, you kind of look past it and realize that, you know, it was beneath your morals for real, for real. But I feel like it was something about this person that you just couldn't resist this person and you still had to continue on in the situation that you knew it was something that really wasn't in your lane. Like something that was, you know it was wrong. You knew it was wrong. You knew it was something that you normally don't do. Okay, and now you realizing, you know what I'm saying? I need to change my direction. I need to completely change my direction because at the end of the day, this shit ain't work for me at all. This shit right here ain't work for me at all. I tried this shit, and or maybe I just been in this energy, like maybe I've just been in this non traditional way of living. You know what I'm saying? And I've been taking my own route in life just doing what the fuck I want to do for all of this time you know what I'm saying not really caring about 
how people looked at me, how people viewed me, and if people thought that the way I was living was right or wrong, I just did what benefited me and what I felt like I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the master of my own ship. I'm the captain of my destiny. And at the end of the day, can't no church, can't nobody, can't no organization, can't no type of structure, can't no one try to conform me into something that I don't want to be and I don't want to do. I run my shit. Okay? So, it's like, this person just kind of lived their life on a whim and just did what the fuck they wanted to do. And at the, end of the at the end of the day, they were realizing that this shit ain't really work out for me the way I really wanted to. and ain't really been bringing me what I really want at the end of the day. Because I want, you know, a strong foundation and I don't have that right now. Because of the way that I've been living. You understand? So, you know, I'm about to drop this burden. I'm about to drop this burden because at the end of the day, I want true love. So, I'm about to just totally move away from my old lifestyle of living because this shit ain't benefiting me no more. So, let me give you one more. Let me give you one more, Gemini. Let me give you one more spread because y'all were the most viewed, most watched. Mm -hmm. Somebody might be scared of what the future might look like. Scared of what the future might look like, Gemini. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. Scared of what the future might look like with this King of Cups. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Wow. All right, man. This is just y'all inner thoughts right here. All right? Especially if you were in that three-party situation that I was talking about. There's the secrets that you're holding on to. There's secrets that you're holding on to, and you're just scared of the future and what the future might bring for you. You understand what I'm saying? But thinking a lot about these secrets and, you know, what the future might bring. Because you were dealing with that King of Cups. It's a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You were dealing with this King of Cups that you were having to compete for. That you were having to compete for. And you scared of the judgment. You scared of the judgment. Because at the end of the day, you know that you, you, the Empress in reverse, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. You know that it was you and this Queen of Cups in reverse. That you played a part. That you're going to receive this judgment for playing a part in this in this battle for this King of Cups. And you and you worried about it. Because guess what? Guess what? Everything that goes in the dark comes to the light and what goes up must come down. And you worried about it. Because at the end of the day, she ain't deserved that. She didn't deserve that. She didn't deserve to feel insecure. To feel, you know, any type of hurt, any type of pain because of what y'all was doing. You understand what I'm saying? So, Ab, if you was on the receiving end or if you were the one that was participating in this third party. Now, based off of last month's, I mean, you know, the, the reading before and off of the energy that I'm even getting right now. I'm getting the energy that Gemini is ever the person, ever the Gemini male or Gemini female is the one that is doing the cheating and or they're the one that someone is cheating with. Okay? And right now, 
you're worried about the judgment and the karma that's going to come to you. So the only thing that I can tell you right now is you need to, you're doing the right thing by moving away. You're doing the right thing. That's the first step. You're doing the right thing. And then once you completely do that and you realize that this is not the energy that I don't want to take into 2019, you just talk to God. And just repent and you just talk to him. God is a very forgiving God and God knows everything that you went through. And trust me, God forgave you before you forgave yourself. God already forgave you. I'm Look, I ain't perfect. I damn sure ain't perfect. I ain't perfect at all. And God still loved me and God forgave me. So if he loved me and he forgave me, he'll sure forgive you. I love y'all, Gemini. Thank you so much for the love and support, Gemini. I love you so much. Anyone that wants a personal reading, hit that About tab. Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me if you want to send a love offering. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated at all, you can um, hit my PayPal information. It's in the description box. I love you all. We'll see you in the new year. Peace.